good. This looks freaking cool. What's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're headed down to the southern Utah and Arizona border where we're going to ride the Moki Dugway and hopefully head down into the Valley of the Gods. This is going to be a quick one. I may or may not be camping in the desert. All I know is I work tomorrow. So hang out and enjoy. So this is how we end up. Shades of blue and gray. Those gals out here coming out to hang out. What's up, babe? Take the scenic route, baby. Eighty-six miles from Loki Dugway. And the closer I get, it just keeps looking better and better. It's gonna be ours one day. Incredible. Man, I just left, uh, I left Black Lines Beach Shop earlier on the way here and uh, talking to Tyler there about the ride I'm about to do and going by myself or whatever. Whoa! Dude! <laughs> back to the story and he mentioned like these types of rides where you just go by yourself are very spiritual you know clears your mind just you the motorcycle and the beautiful scenery this is incredible how fun are these roads, baby? Just curving left and right. Man, so much fun. So we're on the SR95. And I think at some point, this road just turns into dirt. And then we'll be going down the Mogi Dugway. Oh, 
I guess that's what we're in then, Glen Canyon. They should call this thing Fun Canyon. These roads are getting narrower and narrower. I would hate to be towing the trailer through this. That's like a bunch of toes up there. <laughs> Can check it out. The motherfucking Moki Dugway, baby. Dude, this is crazy.
drops you off into the Valley of the Gods. I don't have any gas. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. But look at that view. Good damn. This stretch of road in southeastern Utah is named for the Pueblo Indians that early Spanish explorers encountered in this area. The Spanish word for moqui and dugway, a term that refers to a roadway carved into a hillside or mountain. The winding road has its roots firmly embedded in the mid 20th century's nuclear age. The Moki dugway was constructed in the 1950s by the Texas Zinc Mining Company and it was initially used to transport uranium ore from the Fry Canyon Mines to a processing mill near Mexican Hat. Today, it serves as one of the most enthralling routes for adventurous travelers, drawing thousands each year, who come for an adrenaline rush and the spectacular views. If you do this ride, get ready for an exciting journey on the one-of-a-kind Moki Dugway. This extraordinary road, literally carved from towering cliff walls, links Utah Highway 95 to US Highway 163 as part of the epic Trail of the Ancients. The gravel road is well maintained and honestly, the excitement will overcome any fear you have. However, Hold on tight. As you rip down the legendary Moki Dugway's sharp switchback turns, you'll ride down an insane 1,200 feet from the top at Cedar Mesa. With its gravel roads and amazing views at every turn, this three mile gravel path is exciting and a challenge with gradients reaching up to 10%. It's not just a scenic ride, it really is an adventure. It'll test your skills and courage, all while delivering the most amazing scenery in Southern Utah. So if you're craving a taste of the wild side, if you're itching for a journey that'll fill your senses, clear your mind, and leave you feeling alive, then hop on your motorcycle and head on down to the Moki Dugway. Because when it comes to scenic rides, this one is definitely at the top of my list.
That was way cool. Plenty of gas. I got one dot left. Look how cool that is, man. Wow, what an experience. We just came off the hill, Moki Dugway, and that was pretty freaking cool. Just a little tip, if you're coming from Hanksville, you need to get gas in Hanksville. I've got about 40 miles left, and it's about six miles uh, till Mexican hat. So <laughs> that shows you just how close we're cutting it. But man, it is absolutely beautiful out here. I'm gonna grab the camera and show you guys here. Check this out. All right, well, let's hit the road, get some fuel.